Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to divide a circle into six equal parts. So if you have a circle and you ask to divide it, divide a circle into six equal parts. And interesting in this video, I'm going to be showing you two ways to go about it. So one, uh, we are going to be using just our protractor and the other one is just going to be involve our compass. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So kindly do that. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. So the subscribe button is just at the lower left, okay, the lower right rather, the lower right of your screen. So just click on that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section below if you have just subscribed. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. So now let's get into this video. Now, the first thing we are going to do is, like I said, we are going to be using two methods. So let me write indicate here that this is going to be the first method. This is method one. So let me, that's method one. So what the method one uh, simply involves is this. So let's just draw a circle. Now, irrespective of the radius of the circle, the steps is, are still the same thing. The steps are still the same thing. So either you are using the uh, radius of a given length or not, so you then you indicate the center, so this is point O. So since we are dividing it into six equal parts, let's go ahead and draw a diameter. So I already have my diameter. That diameter is already dividing our circle into two equal halves. But what, don't forget we are dividing it into six. So now we bring in your protractor. And then you place your protractor, you make sure that the center of your protractor, this point, is on that point, uh, point O, that is the center of the circle. So you place it there. And then let's look at this thing together. So since you are dividing into six, that will be 360 degrees. Don't forget, the total angle in, its, uh, in a circle is 360 degrees. So divided by six, so that will give us, I mean divided by six, not 60, divided by six, that will give us 60 degrees. So bringing in your protractor now, you are going to measure 60 degrees apart. So now this is going to be 60. So plus another 60, that will be 120. This is 60 plus another 60, this is 120. So now you note those points. So I haven't done that. So these are the two points. This is the first one here and this is the second one. So you are going to draw it from, from that point. You locate it on that point. So now the line is going to be from the circumference of the circle. It will pass through the center to the other side of the circle. So you are going to be having something like this. So the same thing we are going to do here. So this is the other, the second point. So from the circumference of the circle, we draw it to the center and then to the other side of the circle. So with this now, we've been able to divide the circle into six equal parts. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is the uh, first method, which is the method one. Now the method two is Whenever you, is when you have a circle and you know the radius of the circle. So this time around, let me just draw a circle with a known radius. So let me let's assume we have a circle with a radius of um, five centimeter, which is fifty millimeter. So let me draw the circle here. So after drawing your circle, so you can just make sure that your uh, your compass is still intact. So on that circle, we are going to draw a diameter. So let's first indicate the center. This is the center of the circle. Let's call it point O. So now let's draw a diameter. So don't forget, diameter is a line that from one circum part of the circumference of the circle that will pass through the center of the circle to the other side, to the opposite side of the circumference. So now we have our diameter. So one thing that I want you to also note from the diameter is where the diameter itself is touching the circumference of the circle. It's touching it at this point. It's also touching it at this point. So now we bring back our compass. So let's call this point the diameter. Let's call this point A and then let's call this point B. So where the diameter is touching the circumference on point B with the same uh, length or the radius of the circle, you place it on point B and then you draw an arc on the circumference of the circle at the top, then at the other side, they still the same thing. So with the same length, you go to point A, 
you place your compass on point A. So from point A, you pitch the same thing, you draw an arc here. Then you draw an arc here. So all things being equal, so if, if you do your construction right and your measurement right, so from those points, from this arc here to the one here, by the time you draw it together, it will definitely pass through the center of the circle. Like we have, what I'm having here. So we'll do the same thing here. So from this arc we've drawn here to the other arc on the opposite side, by the time you join them, it should definitely pass the center. So you can see, even when I'm drawing it, you can see that it's, you can see it passing through the center. So this is the method two. Method two. So you, with this, now we've been able to divide this circle into six, two, three, four, five into six equal parts. So that is it on how to divide the circle into six equal parts. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, endeavor to share this video. And if you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, please click on the subscribe button. And if you also want to know how to divide the circle into other number, equal number of parts, maybe into eight, nine, ten, uh, twelve, five, kindly check the description of this video. I'll link, leave a link to those videos. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.